Hello friends, welcome to Design Fusion YouTube video channel. My name is Sankit Patel and I am an application specialist at Design Fusion. Today we are going to discuss about Star to Simulate, that how simulation can help design engineers to check the performance of their product. We are going to cover following agendas. In this video, I will give a brief introduction about simulation for design engineer and in following full video I will explain four important steps to set up simulation so that how we can do the geometry idealization how we can mess our model how we can apply load and boundary condition and finally we will solve our simulation model and using post processing tool we will understand the behavior of our product so as a design engineer, your responsibility is now both to design and engineer a product. That as a design engineer, you can create a CAD model or 3D model using a CAD tool. But you also have to grasp some basic understanding of engineering fundamentals like structural integrity, fluid dynamics and motion dynamics. So this way, the complexity of requirement and your associate design is continuously increasing. And you also want to evaluate the performance of your product without building a physical prototype. So we know that simulation can help us to understand the behavior of our design product or the design. So there are many simulation tool available in market and it requires simulation expertise even if you want to do the simulation by yourself you have to deal with more than one type of simulation and as per your job responsibility you do not have that much time to learn how to use each type of simulation tool so in most of the cases designer have to depend on a CAE analyst for CAE works. Designer need to wait until they get a result from CAE analyst and then they can able to make changes to the design. So this way it is time consuming process. While uh, manufacturing cost is look like a uh, iceberg, there is more cost than what initially meet to your eyes. So we know that design decision has a cumulative effect on your committed product development cost that your committed production development cost is higher during the initial stage of design iteration and if there is some change later on it will cost you more so we know that uh, simulation has it its own benefit that it help us to reduce the need of physical prototype we can reduce a cost by speeding up development process but usually in many industries there is a more designer than analyst so designer have to wait to get back result from analyst and then they can able to make changes based on a CAE analyst to their design so this way the simulation process is too slow to feed design decisions. So let's see the survey and report conducted by Aberdeen Group about benefits of simulation driven design that they have found that 73% of based in class organization are using simulation during detailed design process and because of that they were able to reduce 29% of their product development time. So this way, the simulation done by designer at the initial stage of detailed design can help us to reduce our product development time as well as cost. So we know and we are decided to go for a simulation some of you also have used or tried simulation by yourself and it also turned out 
useful to you but you face some frustrating process like geometry doesn't easily move between a cat tool to simulation tool and moreover simulation modeling and mapping will take too much time so if there is some change later on into your design you have to repeat all this process so it is also time consuming process so finally you are looking for a result you are looking for a simulation tool that can help you to solve most of your engineering problem and you also want to move effortlessly between simulation environment and cad environment so you can get your result faster and and you will able to finalize your product earlier than the, that your competitor can and for that siemens has a solution and it is a sim center sim center is a fully integrated and multidisciplinary simulation tool sim center can be easily embedded with nx and any other type of cat system available in the market so designer can effortlessly move between the cat and simulation environment to get their result faster and it will improve the productivity of design engineer not only this it is a scalable simulation it can be used by a design engineer for the most common type of simulation or it can also be useful to the analyst for more detailed analysis so sim center cover a most common type of simulation done by a design engineer such as a topology optimization structural analysis or the person who are dealing with the thermal product they can do the thermal simulation we can also perform a motion simulation and vibration simulation so this way uh, we can perform a simulation as per our requirement using a sim center so today we are going to discuss about a structural simulation and we will see that how we can set up our structural simulation before we start structural simulation let's get some idea about simulation simulation is a virtual testing of our product design and it is about creating a virtual analog model of our design and its real world operating condition in control environment such as computer system so it allows us to check the performance of our product digitally without building a physical prototype simulation modeling is based on finite element analysis technology so by doing a simulation we can get the answer of design and engineering questions such as we can check the performance of our product uh, by getting uh, information about design parameters such as uh, stress strain deformation if the person uh, working with uh, thermal product they can check the thermal distribution so by getting those information they can make sure that uh, my is my product or design is going to working within the same limit or not we can also check the deformation is my part is going to deflect and how much is going to deflect it we can check the critical load of our structure so uh, at which load my part is going to break so this way by doing a simulation we can check the performance of our product we can also check the life span of our product that how long it is going to last so by doing a durability durability analysis we can do that we can also get the answer that can i make my part lighter can i use more cost effective material so by doing a optimization simulation we can do the design and the weight optimization of our products so but there is some concern and fear about simulation that simulation is too time consuming and uh, designer aren't trained in a simulation technique so if you want to train designer 
then it takes a year to become an analyst and in other side design decision person has a belief that we don't trust a designer to deliver accurate simulation result so to overcome those fear siemens has a solution and it is a design embodied simulation tool in usual design engineer and design and create the design using some type of cad system and then detailed analysis done by a uh, analyst to check the performance of their product but it is about embodying a design tool and simulation tool so designer or a design engineer can do the simulation up to certain extent and by considering uh, the simulation result they can make changes to their design so it reduces the the time of design development of your product so by doing the old way simulation that there is a multiple design iteration even doing a first simulation and during the first simulation they found there is some durability issue so they need to make changes to their product and they come up with design for and they find further problem to their design and this way uh, at the design 8 they are still on question that do we need to release our product or not so it takes too much time and it is time consuming process even the simulation is useful to create a good design but with the design embodied simulation designer or design engineer can do the simulation up to certain extent and at initial stage they can make changes uh, to their product to meet specific requirement or to meet specific performance requirement and then the detailed analysis done by the ce analyst to check the performance of product and as per that they implement uh, the changes into their design so you can see that uh, at the design iteration 3 they they come up with their final design and they are ready to release their product so it reduce the time of design development so let's look about the general workflow of simulation done by design engineer in sim center 3d so they just have to import their cad model to the sim center 3d and by considering a uh, real world operating condition and uh, by considering some aspect of simulation they have to edit and repair their geometry to make their uh, model smaller so they can get the result faster as much as possible then they just have to mess their geometry it is about discretization of their their design into the smaller anime, elements and finally defined load and boundary condition to our model and using a solver we solve our model and post processing tool can help us to understand the behavior of our product that which way my product is going to behave so in next video we will discuss that how we can do the geometric idealization and make our part more suitable for the simulation